This is rated. Viewer discretion is advised. Speak unto Moses and Aaron in the land of Egypt, saying, This month shall be unto you the beginning of months. This is the beginning of our month. This is our new year. Not January. Started on the 16th. This is our holiday. All right? So this is the beginning of our new month. This is the first month of the year for us. Right? Because this is when we put things in the ground. This is when plants come up. Right? So this is our first year. Not January. All right? Give it up. It shall be the first month of the year to you. Speak ye unto all the congregation of Israel, saying, In the tenth day of the month they shall take to them every man a lamb, according to the house of their fathers, a lamb for an house. Okay, so this lamb was bought on the eleventh day. All right, keep going. And if the household be too little for the lamb, let him and his neighbor next unto his house take it according to the number of the souls. Every man according to his eating shall make your count for the lamb. Your lamb shall be without blemish, a male of the first year. So this, this lamb is under a year old, and it doesn't have any blemishes. No, not missing a head, a ear, or missing anything. Be close. Okay? It's a perfect lamb. Yeah. You shall take it out from the sheep or from the goats, and you shall keep it up until the 14th day at the, of the same month. So this is the 14th day. Sundown started our 14th day. So we're in the 14th day. We're about to do our sacrifice for the Most High. All right? And the whole assembly of the congregation of Israel shall kill it in the evening. Mm -hmm. And they shall take of the blood. Right. And they shall take of the blood and strike it on the two side posts and on the upper door posts of the houses wherein they shall eat it. And they shall eat the flesh in that night roast with fire and unleavened bread and with bitter herbs they shall eat it. Eat not of it raw, nor sodden at all with water, but roast with fire, his head with his legs, and with the pertinence thereof. So, we, we're supposed to, if the Levitical priests were here, when Christ comes back, we will roast this with his whole head. But because Christ isn't here and hasn't returned yet, then we're going to break it into pieces the same way the Romans came back and broke Christ's legs after he was dead. Alright? And then we will put it on the fire. But in normal circumstances, when Christ comes back with us, we will roast the whole leg, and the Levitical priest will do it, not just members of the body like we are. Go ahead. And ye shall let nothing of it remain until the morning. We have to eat all of this tonight or give it away. Nothing should be remained until the morning. And that which remaineth of it until the morning ye shall burn with fire. And thus shall ye eat it, with your loins girded, your shoes on your feet, and your staff in your hand. So we're supposed to be dressed to the nine like we are now, totally dressed, ready for our Lord's Passover. Get it? And ye shall eat it in haste. It is the Lord's Passover. For I will pass through the land of Egypt this night, and I will smite all the firstborn in the land of Egypt, both man and beast. And against all the gods of Egypt I will execute judgment. So before Christ became our sacrifice, this was the reason for our sacrifice, when the children of Egypt were under bondage, and there was a decree to kill all the firstborn. So to protect themselves, the Most High said to, put blood, to, to kill the lamb, to sacrifice the lamb and put blood on the door. And this is what our Passover sacrifice, this is what our Passover represents. But once Christ came and died for us, he became our sacrifice. All right? So we're no longer under the Levitical priesthood until Yeshua returns. Get it? I am the Most High. And the blood shall be to you for a token upon the houses where you are. And when I see the blood, I will pass over you. And the plague shall not be upon you to destroy you when I smite the land of Egypt. And this day shall be unto you for a memorial. This day shall be a memorial. And you shall keep it a feast to the Most High throughout your generations. So we have to keep this feast throughout our generations, in the time of old, now, and in the future. You shall keep it a feast by an ordinance forever. Forever. Seven days shall ye eat unleavened bread. Starting tomorrow, sundown, starts the feast of unleavened bread. And we will eat unleavened bread for seven days. Even the first day, ye shall put away leaven out of your house. Even today, there should not be any leaven in your house. That's cakes, cookie, anything made with yeast. Right? For whosoever eateth leavened bread from the first day until the seventh day, that soul shall be cut off from Israel. So don't eat anything with yeast for seven days. And in the first day, there shall be an holy convocation. Today is the first day. We're having our holy convocation. And in the seventh day, there shall be an holy convocation. And on the seventh day, we'll have another holy convocation. To you. No manner of work shall be done in them, 
save that which every man must eat, that only may be done of you. And ye shall observe the feast of unleavened bread, for in this self same Therefore shall ye observe this day in your generations by an ordinance forever. In the first month, on the fourteenth day of the month at even, ye shall eat unleavened bread until the one and twentieth day of the month at even. Seven days shall be no leaven found in your houses, for whosoever eateth that which is leavened, even that soul shall be cut off from the congregation of Israel, whether he be a stranger or born in the land. Ye shall eat nothing leavened, in all your habitations shall ye eat unleavened bread. Then Moses called for all the elders of Israel and said unto them, Draw out and take you a lamb according to your families and kill the Passover. And ye shall take a bunch of hyssop and dip it in the blood that is in the basin and strike the lintel and the two side posts with the blood that is in the basin. And none of you shall go out at the door of his house until the morning. For the Most High will pass through to smite the Egyptians. And when he seeth the blood upon the lintel and on the two side posts, the Most High will pass over the door and will not enter will not suffer the destroyer to come in unto your houses to smite you. And ye shall observe this thing for an ordinance to thee and to thy sons forever. And it shall come to pass when ye be come to the land which the Most High will give you according as he hath promised that ye shall keep this service. So when the land that he hath promised to us back into Jerusalem, when he takes, when Messiah leads us back into Jerusalem, that's when we'll go back to our original way we did things in order for the Levitical priesthood handling all of our sacrifices. Go ahead. And it shall come to pass when your children shall say unto you, What mean you by this service? That ye shall say, It is the, it is the sacrifice of the Most High's Passover. When passed over the houses of the children of Israel in Egypt. So that's what we are to explain to our children while we're doing this. It's the Lord's Passover. When the Lord passed over the children of Egypt and saved them. When he smote the Egyptians and delivered our houses, and the people bowed the head and worshipped. And the children of Israel went away and did as the Most High had commanded Moses and Aaron, so did they. And it came to pass that at midnight the Most High smote all the firstborn in the land of Egypt, from the firstborn of Pharaoh that sat on his throne, unto the firstborn of the captive that was in the dungeon, and all the firstborn of cattle. And Pharaoh rose up in the night, he and all his servants, and all the Egyptians, and there was a great cry in Egypt, for there was not a house where there was not one dead. And he called for Moses and Aaron by night and said, Rise up and get you forth from amongst my people, both you and the children of Israel, and go, serve the Most High as ye have said. Yeah. Amen. All right, we're going to go ahead and get the Lord's Prayer and offer this sacrifice to him, and then we'll get it. All right? Everybody here?